In this video, we'll see how to implement the basis 3 demo from Digiland. Now we are on the demo's web page. You can find the link of the demo in the video description. In the feature section, you can see that we'll use USB UART bridge and USB HID host with keyboard feature. And what we need are basically the basis 3 board, the micro USB cable to program it via JTAG, and also to get the keyboard strokes from UART. And of course, we'll require a USB keyboard. First thing we need to do is to go to the GitHub page of the Digiland and select the basis 3 keyboard demo. You can find the link of this in the video description as well. Here I'll skip the description part and go directly to the demo setup. Here we can see that we need to download the related zip archive. Let's do that. Now we are in the zip archive and we are going to choose the latest version, which is the 2018.2.zip. So let's save that. And once it's saved, we are going to extract it. And once we extract it, we go to the related folder. And under that folder, we go to view other project. And once we double click on the basis three keyboard project, it's going to open up the view other suite for us. And once it's opened, we are going to click on OK in order to migrate the project and we are going to click on yes. This is because we are having a newer version of Vivado. And now we are going to go to download to the Bitstream. We are going to choose our device and we are going to download the Bitstream. Maybe choose the bit file and then download it. Now we are going to connect to the board. Our board is in COM9 and the baud rate is 9600. Right now we are connected. So as we press the keys of the keyboard, we are going to get the PS2 corresponding code for those. And when we release them, we are going to have F0 in the beginning and space the PS2 code as well. So we can see that we are seeing the PS2 codes on the terminal window. So the keyboard demo is working properly.